Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for July 22nd, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right. Let's see what spirit has for you today. In the middle of the reading, we are going to clarify this fifth house. This is an Astro Soul Oracle card. Okay, I just pulled the one from the top because I've been shuffling. So let's see what's good with it. I'm going to clear the space really quick before we start the reading. Please be mindful. There's going to be four loud sounds, okay? Okay, let's see what Spirit has for you today, Sagittarius, okay? Let's see. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Show me that Sagittarius energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. All right. Clarify, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. I'm going to get one more, one present and one past card. One more four, please. One, two, three, four. All right. Past and present. All right, Sagittarius. You have the full card and the reversal in the past, okay? So this could represent that you are having a hard time moving forward with a new start or a new beginning or possibly taking a leap of faith. It could also be that you got some advice from a, like a fool, okay? Uh, someone that's like literally a fool. Um, this could mean a lot of different things, some kind of blocked uh, energy or blocked new start. Clarify this past situation for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. All right. Three of Swords. It came out in the sideways position. I'm going to take it in the reversed. Knight of Wands reversed and the Justice reversed. Yeah. <clears throat> So I would say, Sagittarius, that you're feeling like something is unjustified here. Could possibly be that someone is feeling that way uh, with you, okay? Because we have the Knight of Wands in the reversal, which is um, impulsiveness, hastiness, charging ahead without forethought, not thinking about your, um, not thinking about the actions that you take before you take them. But we have the Three of Swords in the reversal. It did come out kind of sideways, okay? Which is like recovering or needing to recover or heal from a situation. Uh, anything that has hurt you or brought you down in any aspect. Um, it kind of feels here, Sagittarius, that there was a start to something that had to be retracted or something that didn't work out the way you wanted it to possibly. And you could feel very well that it was unjustified. Okay, but it has something to do with your healing. So maybe you were on a healing journey and this had to be blocked in one aspect or another in order for you to be able to heal from something, okay? Clarify this past situation for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on for Sagittarius here in the past? What we got going on here? Uh, some of you might be dealing with a court situation or, you know, for example, if this was like a, like a marriage that ended, it could be having to go to court for a... Whatever they call it when marriage is in it, it's not coming to my mind. Uh, divorce or something. That's not really what I'm getting here, though. There's something here about a healing situation and something that didn't work out. Clarify this past situation for Sagittarius. One more four. One, two, three, four. Maybe for some of you, but I would say for most of you, that's not the case. Clarify this past situation. One, two, three, four. Okay. We'll get to that. Clarify the past situation. One, two, three, four. All right. You have the Six of Wands, the Empress and the Reversal, Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Swords in the Reversal. 
So it seems as if there is some kind of recognition here, okay, for something that you have been putting a lot of work into or your job specifically, okay, you could be getting a uh, promotion or a raise with the six of wands, but this is more of like getting the recognition for putting work into something. It's like a victory, uh, if you will, okay? You have the Empress in the reversal, which is someone that is codependent or lazy, um, someone that doesn't have a lot of inspiration or they are like taking an action. It's like you have someone around you that is the opposite of the recognition that you're getting here. You could be maybe helping someone out that is in a bad place, um, or you could be helping someone that has a hard time concentrating. I don't know. There's a weird energy. You have the Seven of Swords, okay? Seven of Swords is a card of usually of lying, cheating, stealing, or being strategic, okay? Uh, and it's better termed the Seven of Swords is a card of being uh, strategic. It says guard against deceit and concealment, okay? Um, maybe you have like a negative person around you that is upset because of the uh, progress or the victory that you have gotten and something that you've been working on. And someone tries to like steal your thunder or or they try to take something away from you in one aspect or another based on that. Okay, you do have the Ten of Swords in the reversal, which is a, again a card of healing, recovery, or regenerating. Okay, some kind of profit. It's like someone's trying to gain off of your profit. It looks like here. Um, it's a weird energy here. Someone sees you doing well and they want to come in and be able to benefit off of that. Okay, or benefit off of you here, Sagittarius in the past. Could be let's get two more cards i don't know what's going on here because it doesn't i don't know it doesn't even look like it's family it could just be some like a friend possibly might be a family member or a significant other if you're dating someone you're healing from something so clarify this past situation for sagittarius please one two three four we're we dealing with a leo libra or taurus gemini or aquarius um Aquarius, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Gemini. You have the High Priestess. Okay, and one more card for Sagittarius. One, two, three, four. Okay. Basically all the signs. <laughs> three of Swords in the upright. I don't know. Um, I'm going to stop saying I don't know because I do know. It's just kind of, con this is a very interesting energy here, Sagittarius. It's very, something that's not not very easy to read. You have the high priestess, which means that your intuition is on point whenever it comes to whoever this person is. And you have the three of swords, which is a card of heartbreak, despair. Um, it says a harsh truth is better than a soft lie. Okay. Maybe some of you were lying to yourself about this person, trying to see the good in them. Okay. And then for whatever reason you found, uh, you found some kind of evidence as to who this person is in one aspect or another, and you needed to pull your energy back. So it could have been heartbreaking uh, to be able to do that, uh, to have to pull your energy back from someone that you were seeing the good in. Okay, but in this aspect here, it looks like you did the right thing. Okay, because now you're getting that that recognition, the victory for putting the work in. Okay, and the Ten of Swords in the book that I read by Dusty White represents dodging the bullet. Okay, danger passes so close by that you can feel the breeze of it passing. So if you had to dodge the bullet whenever it comes to someone, hmm. If you had to dodge a bullet whenever it comes to someone, that could be a good thing, I would say. It must have died. That's okay. In the present, we have the Magician card, okay? This is um, manifesting something from nothing. You're getting some kind of tangible evidence for what you've been manifesting here. Okay, but this is also a card of obstacles that might be being placed in your path at this time in order to see how you respond to the obstacles okay this could be by spirit or from spirit you may not be able to feel the presence of spirit at this time whenever you're working through this obstacles and if that is the case it is because spirit is wanting to see how you react to the obstacles whenever you do not feel their presence okay clarify this present situation for sagittarius please you have the tower and the reversal okay clarify this present situation for sagittarius please one two three four let me get one more one two three four all right you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in the reversal. Some of you has something to do with a relationship or a job, okay? Um, either a like a like literally a job or it could be a relationship because you have two Pentacles cards out here. 
Uh, Seven of Pentacles in the reversal is you have something worthwhile, something that you will miss dearly if you let it die off, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles means that you are focusing on your abundance, your success, okay? Your dreams, your wishes, could be your family as well. And you have the Tower moment in the reversal, okay? Now, this kind of makes me feel, Sagittarius, that you're you're trying to avoid a Tower moment, okay? Because you don't want to let go of something that you put a lot of effort into, which makes total sense to me. Okay, it does make a lot of sense, but at the same time, the tower always happens, okay? You can put it off for a while, you can kind of avoid it for a little bit, but there's no getting around it fully. It will still happen at some point or another. The good news is you have the king of pentacles and the upright and the four of wands in the upright. So this could mean there is like a relationship that allows you to be able to get through this this could be that your family allows you to be able to get through this like helps you in one aspect or another the king of pentacles is continuing to solve issues in practical ways okay somebody is here for you all right you have some kind of and the and then the four of wands says be ready for the opportunity that you have worked for which means it looks like something has to be rid of your energy you have to get something out of your energy excuse me in order for something better to work out for you, but it may be uncomfortable for whatever this is that is coming out of your energy to happen. So you're like not ready for it. And then whenever it does happen, something else falls together better. But at the same time, that uncomfortable, un that uncomfortability is what you're trying to avoid here. Clarify the present situation for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. All right. Queen of Cups in the reversal and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is unhappy about either a situation that they're going to have to walk away from or one that they have already walked away from, possibly. Okay. Let me do this really quick. Because that will solve that issue. Must have been dead. Somebody's unhappy. Could be also that someone is unhappy with you for walking away from them, Sagittarius. Okay. What's going on here? Let me get two more for Sagittarius in the present, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. One more four, please. One more four. One, two, three, four. All right. You have the Knight of Cups in the reversal and the Chariot. Okay. It's as if you have someone that is manipulative here in your energy, emotionally manipulative, or more than one person that is very unhappy about the choices that you have made as far as moving forward. You could be actually literally moving or traveling at this time with the chariot card, but it says you have success in the face of difficulty. So anything that is popping up in your present energy here, Sagittarius, you have some kind of success. Okay, you have something to be happy about, something to be thankful for in order to keep moving forward with the chariot card. You're determined, you're focused, okay, you're concentrated, and you're not letting anything hold you down or hold you back at this time. All right, there might be a couple of people that are unhappy with you with the choices that you're making, but I really wouldn't worry too much about it and focus on your own success, which is, is what it looks like you're doing already with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, you have the fifth house. This is the Astro Soul Oracle deck. This is Leo energy. It says, this is the house of self-expression and the pleasure of showing who we truly are. Here we see one's creativity and artistic vision, how we like to have fun, playfulness and pleasure, games of chance, love affairs, and also children. It says, I create here. Okay, something about what you could be creating. Let's, let's read it in the little book here. Fifth house. The fifth house is responsible for pleasure, love affairs, and entertainment. Athletic acti activities and recreational games are represented here, while also their bad qualities such as gambling and financial speculation. The fifth house rules creativity and pursuits, thus ruling all hobbies. Collecting, searching, or simply playing with luck will definitely be found in the astral parameters of the house. Therefore, in this house, we can see one's luck in the chart and the natives' abilities to use it in their favor. Performance is also seen in this house as well as parties and activities they enjoy doing, but also how they express themselves. Okay. Okay. So something about your fifth house. Maybe um, 
If you look in your natal chart and find your fifth house placement, that might be a reading that you need to listen to, okay? All right, Sagittarius, in the future, we have the death card and the reversal, okay? So you might be dealing with a Scorpio, possibly you might have Scorpio somewhere in your chart, but this is a card of being stuck or stagnant or sameness or things not uh, flowing, okay? Clarify this future situation for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what we got going on here? What's going on for Sagittarius in the future, please? Show me the cards that I need to see. Let me get one more for one, two, three, four. All right. Ace of Wands in the reversal. Five of Cups in the reversal. And the Temperance. Somebody's having to take some time out to heal. Again, this is like happening in the past here, Sagittarius. And now it looks like it's popping back up in the future, okay? Ace of Wands reverse is a card of like a false start. It's like almost doing something and then having to pull your energy back or like a bump in the road right after the start, okay? You have the Five of Cups in the reversal, which is uh, healing, recovery, letting go of some kind of emotional pain or something that didn't work out for you in the past. And you have the Temperance card, okay? And this is something, and this is something coming into balance for you, okay? So it looks like you might be feeling stuck or stagnant based on like wanting to start something or just starting something and having to take a pause immediately after. But if that's the case, Sagittarius is for your healing. So I would say this is probably something that is a good thing. Okay, let's clarify this. It could be like a blessing in disguise kind of is what it's looking like here. Clarify this future situation for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this future situation for Sagittarius, please. What's going on here? One, two, three, four. All right. You have the moon card, the lovers, the judgment and the reversal, and the will of fortune. Some of you are breaking out of a cycle, okay? It's like, you might be, it's almost like this, okay? It's kind of like this. You're breaking out of a cycle or you're having to repeat the same one or you just got done repeating a cycle so that way you could realize what it is that you want and break out of it, Okay. Judgment card in the reversal is like a scratched record playing the same part over and over and over again, okay? And the moon card, it says, be careful of seeing things that are not there, okay? Which is basically something that is being hidden from you, which it tells me that you're not able to see why this is happening at this point in the future right away. But I would say that it's something to do with the lover's card, okay? Which is, it's either a fork in the roads as far as which direction that you want to take, or it could be a new love connection or one coming back together possibly, you have the will of fortune, which means good luck is on the horizon, okay? But you're having to put in the work. You're having to put that work in in order to get to whatever this good luck is. So, I mean, I like it, okay? It just feels to me mainly like there's some kind of pause, like pause break that happens. You don't understand why, but it's overall something better for you as far as breaking out of a cycle and getting some kind of good luck or love coming in. I mean, both of them look good. Let me get two more for Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles reversed and... The hangman, yeah. Um, there could be someone in your energy that you're dealing with already that is either materialistic or like nagging or jealous, suffocating, uh, moody possibly. And you've gotten a new perspective on this person based on uh, having to take this pause. So it's kind of like you're, that makes me feel a little bit more like a crossroads, like you're having to figure out whether you want to continue being around this person or this energy or not, Sagittarius. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, okay, with the uh, pentacles there, the queen of pentacles. But um, while you're calibrating, while you're like uh, in suspension, while you're waiting on this uh, healing process to take, uh, take root or whatever it is that you're having to go through here, while you're waiting on this, you're able to take some time out to analyze a situation or a um, I would say it might even be a romantic situation with someone that you're dealing with here. So you're figuring out what is best for you. Okay. All right. Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of this situation for you, Sagittarius. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. One, two, three, four. We have Scar. So someone could be seeing you as a villain or you're, you got a villain in your energy somewhere or someone that scarred you either emotionally or physically, maybe mentally. Okay, what else for Sagittarius, please? One, two, three, four. We have Baby Listen. Somebody might want you to listen to them, Sagittarius, or vice versa. Let's get three cards from the back. It's too late to apologize. Okay, it's too late for someone to apologize or at least someone feels that way. Okay, it's too late for someone to apologize. What else? 
they know they lied. Someone knows that they lied to you. It's too late for them to apologize, but they want you to listen to them. Let me get one more. We have 222, two, two, trust and patience, especially in manifesting. So you could be seeing 222 two, two a lot, or you just need to have some kind of trust and patience in your manifestations here, Sagittarius. You check in on everyone else, but do you check on yourself, okay? So you might be that kind of person that checks in on everyone else, but doesn't take time to check in on yourself. What else? One, two, three, four. Listen to your heart. Okay, so what is your heart telling you to do, Sagittarius? Okay. What else for Sagittarius today? One, two, three, four. You need to make a choice. There is some kind of choice that needs to be made here, Sagittarius. Okay. What else? One more. One, two, three, four. Check out New Age Lifestyle Shop in the description box below. Okay, especially if you're having any health issues that I would say that you might be healing from because you're healing from something definitely in this reading. Sagittarius, there's a lot of great things in the holistic section. Okay, and I'll actually speak on that at the end. Let me get five more. One, two, three, four. Get your poop in a group. You are getting your stuff together at this time or some of you might need to. Okay, what else? One, two, three, four. Life force. Something about your life force is significant here. That's why you're slowing down or that's why there's some kind of pause. So that way you can figure out if your life force is like you're on the right track. Okay, figure out if you're on the right track or not. We have 212. Focus on yourself and remember that your guardian angels are there to support you. You could be seeing 212 a lot. Some of you are being guided to focus on yourself. Some of you might already be doing that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Love you to the moon and back. Could be something that you say to someone or someone says to you or used to. Okay. One more for Sagittarius, please. One, two, three, four. Perseverance is called for. If you're dealing with any obstacles right now, keep pushing forward and have patience. Okay. Perseverance is called for in order work in order to work through whatever this is, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. All right, Sagittarius, this is going to be the ending of your reading for today. This is how you can win a uh, free 20-minute reading for myself, okay? If you go to New Age Lifestyle Shop in the description box below and you click on the, the top left corner, there's three horizontal lines, okay? Boom, boom, boom. If you click on that and go to the Holistic and Wellness section, Go to page two, and at the very bottom on the right-hand side, you will find this. It's called Snail Serum, okay? Snail Serum is what it looks like outside of the bottle. Boom, chocolate, or outside of the box, I mean. Boom, chakalaka. If you get two of these, okay, and you get one of these, this is one white sage, sage thick. I use white sage every single day whenever I sage my, uh, whenever I sage my place at the end of the day, okay? This is the one that I use. It's just a very big one. Um, this is one of the, I think it's four inch ones. Okay. If you get one of these and two of the snail serums, it comes out to 2385. Okay. And then you can use a discount code, which is moon 10. It's M O O N one zero moon 10. It'll take $2 and 39 cent off and it comes out to 2146. Okay. I think the shipping is like $8 and 61 cent or 71 cent. But if you do that, Take a screenshot, send it to my email, okay? And I'll do a free 20-minute pre-recorded video for you, okay? Free 20-minute reading. So you get one free 20-minute reading pre-recorded. You get two of the snail serum and one white, sa white sage stick, okay? So this is how you use it. It smells really good. I like the way it smells, and I love the way it works. I actually got sunburned this weekend, so it's another great reason for me to be wearing it because... <laughs> It works really good for sunburn and just for dry skin in general. I'll read the benefits for you on the box really quick. All right, it says, uses usage method after cleansing and toning, apply on your entire face to gently pat using fingertips to add absorption, okay? Benefits, number one, replenish skin moisture effectively, reduce sunburn, replenish skin moisture, effectively reduce sunburn and black spots, Collagen can deeply nourish facial skin tissue and reduce dryness or irritation. Two, improve collagen, significantly reduce wrinkles, make skin look younger and smoother, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and improve skin elasticity. Three, make the skin brighter. The filtrate secreted by the snail contains mucin, which can immediately relieve the damaged skin and penetrate the water into the skin. 
perfect for dehydrated and damaged skin. Four, it is applicable to any skin, dehydrated, dehydrated or dry skin, oily skin, and skin prone to acne, aging, and wrinkles. Boom shakalaka. So you can't really tell on my face, but oh, yeah, you can't really tell on my face too much, but this is what my back looks like. Ooh, I don't even know if you can really tell with that with the light, but I usually will get red at least one time and then I'll start to tan. I got pretty, pretty nice tanned skin whenever, whenever I stay out in the sun a lot. That's thanks to my dad, dad's side of the family. Okay. His grandfather is full blooded Cherokee Indian, Cherokee Indian. I cannot talk apparently. So anyways, guys, this is going to be the ending of your reading for today. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that will be in the description box below. Okay, and be sure to come back Wednesday for another reading from yourself. Okay, love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.